Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. It's almost Good Friday and I wanted to drop one flyer. Without today. much ado, let's get started. If you're new to creating flyers, you want to go to file and you want to click on new and you want to go ahead and choose either a custom template which is a 10 by 10 or if you want your own settings you can come into the precept detail type it in but i want a 10 by 10 resolution keep it at 300 and i want my background to be white and leave everything else like that and go ahead and click on create so the first thing we want to do is to set our background so we want to go to adjustment and choose solid color now you can choose whatever color you want i want something in the deep red since this is easter and the theme is red so i'm going to go ahead and click ok and i want to go ahead and bring in other backgrounds and i'm going to make all of these available for you to use so the first one we're going to bring in is going to be the this one i'm just going to drop it in and I'm going to go ahead and set it right there and I'm going to scale it like that. Now, if your activation, now if your transform is not activated, you need to make sure that your auto select and your show transformed are all checked. If you can't do that, just press on command T to activate your transform tool. So with this set, we want to set our background blend mode to, to color burn. And I'm going to zoom out a little and we are going to rescale. Now I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to bring in another image. So we're going to put in the cross first and I'm going to set that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and scale it like this and we'll have it somewhere here. And you want to change the blend mode of this to multiply so that it basically blends in. Now, when you come out of this, you know that there is still some outline that you see. So to hide this, we are going to add a layer max. So click on the layer max icon on the bottom, pick up your brush tool. You want to make sure that your brush, you have a soft brush. So something like this, you want to make sure your hardness is at zero and come out of this. Now, you don't see my brush head. Turn off your cup locks. Now you can see your brush head. And the other thing you need to do is that you want your foreground color to be black. Black hides white reveals when working with layer max. So with my layer max thumbnail selected, you want to come and begin. You want to make sure that you are on the right layer because you see what is happening. I'm actually erasing the wrong layer. So command Z to go back and I want to click on the top image, add that layer max and you need to just go ahead and begin to erase like that. So you get this effect. The next thing we're going to do is go back to our folder and we're going to drop in the last image and I'm going to set that right here in the corner and with our transform activated, we are just going to go ahead and rescale this. So I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more and set that somewhere here. We're going to double click and again, we want to change the blend mode for this. So we are going to click and change the blend mode to hard light. I'm going to scale it like that. Now, if it's too much, you can actually take the opacity down so that you have the effect, but it's still not too much. I'm going to double click. And so guys, we are set with the background. Now we want to go ahead and begin to add our theme, pick up your text tool. And we are going to choose one of my famous font the agagi pro and we're going to type in good so turn on your cups and type in good now highlight it because we didn't change the foreground color so flip between your arrows to give you the right color now you can scale it by just holding one end and we are going to set that somewhere here 
Now you notice that it's on the bottom of the top image. So you want to go to your layers panel, move that layer to the top and release. We want to move this to the side like that. We want to do an offset in today's tutorial. So I'm going to set it in this corner, double click to accept. Now we want to add a little bit of a drop shadow. So double click at the right hand corner of that layer. The layer style comes up. Now you can see on the left hand side, you have so many options that you can choose from, but we want to keep this flyer very simple. So we're going to just add a little bit of a drop shadow and I'm going to double click in my drop shadow and I can go ahead and change my spread so the size can be a little bit smaller. I can reduce my distance. Now, if you want to create almost like a blare background shadow, you can do something like this and you see the effect that it creates. It's also a very good effect, but in this tutorial, we are going for a very clean and simple look. So I'm going to leave it like this and we are going to click OK. Now we want to go back, pick up your type tool. I'm going to go ahead and begin to type in Friday, all cups. Now you want to highlight and change your font to whatever you want, but I'm using all round Gothic. Pick up your move tool and now you can scale this or you can type it in. You know, once you have your text selected, you can also change the font size here or even in your property you can also change your font size. I'm used to my transform, so I just use that, eyeball it, and we are good to go. So I'm gonna set this right beneath the good, almost like it's touching, something like this. Now we wanna go ahead and add the word service. So I'm gonna click on my type tool once again, and this time I'm going to go ahead, type in service, all cups, and I'm going to highlight and I'm going to change this to the Agagi Pro and I'm going to scale it a little like that. Double click, move it and double click to accept it. Now we want to change the font style. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight and I'm going to click on my font, my foreground color and I'm going to choose something in the Honey Mustard we want to add a little bit more of a splash color effect. So this is good. And as you can see, I want it to line up. So it's between my F and the R and everything reads very well. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the name of the church. So I'm going to click back on my type tool and we are going to type in I'm going to go ahead and move this layer down. It seems like my image is on top. So with this now on top, I'm going to highlight. Now I want this to be white. You can go ahead and even change it right here. If you want, just click on that. Or you can click on your default black and white and it will just set it right there. And you can flip your arrow to choose the color that you want. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to go ahead and change my font color. And I'm just going to choose a very basic font, almost like an Arial. And I'm going to move my text and set that right here. Now we want to go ahead and also bring in the church logo as well as our Zoom logo since this is going to be an online event. So I'm just going to fast forward so that I drop in those two. So I just went ahead to bring in the church logo and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see everything. Now, so with this all set, I want to go ahead and add the meeting ID. So I'm going to double click. Now I want to create something a little bit more fun. So I'm going to pick up my shape tool and I'm going to choose the rectangle and I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle like this. Now, when you draw the rectangle, you have the option of keeping it straight or you can 
actually round your edges so i'm going to do that for this one so you notice that i just clicked on that little dot at the corner and once you click on one it does it for all of them now if you don't want it to do it for every one of them but just some portions of it you have the option of playing with the settings right here as you can see it shows all the four corners and you can choose which one you want rounded and the one that you want to be straight so just to demonstrate i'm going to on link this and i'm going to set this to zero and i'm going to come out of it so we can see how it looks so you notice that just the corner is straight and everything else is rounded so i'm going to go ahead and pick back my rectangle and we want to increase our stroke effect so i'm going to take it to about a seven and i also want to make sure that my fill is empty so if your fill if your shape has a color in it all you need to do is click on your fill and click on the rectangle with the stripe and it will take out the color so if i click out here this is what i have this is too much so i'm going to go back and reduce this and i want to change the color so click on your stroke color click and choose any color of your choice now when you come out of this you notice this is the color that we and notice that i'm lining everything up it's very key to make sure that your things are all lined up it makes your graphics look really good and easy for people to read so i'm going to cut out a little portion of my shape so to do that there are a couple of ways to do it but even before i do that i want to go ahead and type in the meeting id so with my zoom id i'm going to move that and set that right there and i'm going to double click on my id and i'm going to change i'm going to click on my shape i'm going to right click and convert that to a smart object now you want to pick up your rectangular marquee tool make a selection around the zoom so that it's a little bit beyond on both sides and you want to erase inside so it will ask you do you want to convert this to a rasterize you want to say okay and you can go ahead and erase or click on delete on your keyboard on select you can press command d to deselect so now you have this line which sort of stops and continues so this is a very simple detail that you can add if you want now with this all set we want to add a little bit more effect so we are going to pick back our shape tool rectangular shape and we are going to just draw a straight line like that now this time we want to fill it in so i'm going to go to my properties and i'm going to click on my fill color and choose a white i want to go ahead and make a copy so command j make another copy set that here now we want to go ahead and reduce that so i'm going to hold down my shift and i'm going to make this smaller and we want a third one so i'm going to click on this image just i'm going to click on the shape command j make one more copy and we want to make this even thinner so hold down your shift and make it thinner and we can click on this one too and with our move tool we can move it even further So what we're going to do is we want to click on all three layers select your top shape hold down shift select all three we want to move all of these three set it right here and we are going to set it somewhere here like that so we have this cool effect that is almost like a stripe so double click to accept your changes so i'm going to go back to the layer layers panel select all three layers we're going to right click and convert this into a smart object so that we can begin to cut some areas off so i'm going to pick my lasso tool and i'm just going to draw some lines in this area because we we want to just basically get rid of a lot of these lines 
I'm just going to do this and close it off. So pick your eraser tool and click to erase, but then you need to click OK to convert your smart object to rasterize. And you can go ahead and basically erase all of this. Now I want to go ahead and pick back up my type tool and I'm going to go back to my Agagi Pro and I'm going to go ahead and type in second. Good Friday is going to be on the 2nd of April. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate, Command J, make a duplicate, move that down. We're going to highlight and change this to second. And with our move tool, we're going to scale it down all the way down and set that right there. Now I'm going to pick back up my type tool. We have this font. I'm going to make a copy, Command J, make a copy, move that and we are going to change this to April. Now I want to zoom out a little and we are going to add a circle. So go to your shapes, pick up your eclipse. Now you want to hold down shift so that you can get a round shape instead of an eclipse. So we want to change the color, go to your property and then change the stroke color to the honey mustard. Now we want to increase this a little, so we'll set it to two. So I'm going to click back on my text, Command J, make a copy, double click. So with this set, we want to cut out this area. So what we're going to do is that we want to click on our shape, right click, right click on our shape, and we are going to convert this into a rasterized layer. Now you want to pick up your marquee tool and you can just draw, just eyeball it, the distance you want between the text. Now pick your eraser tool or you can just press delete on your keyboard Command D to deselect. So to finish this off, we are going to add a lens flare. So you go, you want to click on your top layer and you want to go ahead and click on your plus icon to add a new layer. Now you want to flip your foreground, pick up your paint bucket and fill this in. You want to go under filter, choose render and lens flare. Now there are so many options. You see that as you flip through, there are other options that you can choose, but I want this effect and you can actually move this to set it in the right location. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now with this set, we want to go ahead and change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now screen basically hides anything that is black. Now I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to move this and set that right here. Now we want to rotate this. So you want to just go ahead and rotate it like this and move it to set it in place. Now we want to make a copy. So command J, go ahead, make a copy and you can move that and set that somewhere here. Now we want to do one more thing. Go back to your background color double click on it and we want to make this a little bit more brighter than darker so something like this is good and go ahead and click ok so guys this brings us to the end of this lesson i hope you found this tutorial very helpful please like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads so until next time guys be safe Bye.